Catlink is CISPRO's new third-party tool to integrate engineering build materials from CAD, PDM, or PLM systems to CISPRO. Developed by QBuild Software, we have over 800 customers worldwide and have established ourselves as the gold standard in the ERP integration industry. You can launch Catlink from your CAD, PDM, or PLM system, or directly from the CAD file. In the CAD system, with the assembly open, you can find Catlink under the toolbar. Here you'll find the options to launch Catlink, sync your build materials with a CISPRO structure, or a CISPRO estimate. When selecting the CISPRO structure, Catlink will compare the build materials of the CAD model to the CISPRO structure. When done comparing, it loads the build materials grid with colored highlighting to show the results of the comparison. Any lines that are white are components that already exist as a stock code in CISPRO. All the components that are green are components that do not exist in CISPRO yet. Catlink will create these inside of CISPRO. Yellow means there's a difference in the field value between existing data in CAD and CISPRO. If you right click on a yellow field, you can see what different values between CAD and CISPRO. You can pick which one you'd like to keep or enter a brand new description. This description is pushed bi-directionally to update both CAD and CISPRO descriptions. The gray lines, these are components that are present on the CISPRO structure, but not on the CAD model. This often happens when CAD components are removed or replaced, but that hasn't been updated in CISPRO yet. So CADLINK will remove these components from the CISPRO structure as well. However, sometimes these are just consumable components that are just not modeled in CAD. In that case, you can transform these to blue non-CAD components. You can also add as many of these non-CAD components as you'd like on the bottom with a simple search into your CISPRO stock codes. Red means that there's field data missing or wrong data in the field. This is a validation feature to ensure that all the required fields are completed before trying to save. The save button is disabled until the red fields are addressed. In this case, I'm missing a description for this part. But once I enter a description, the save button is enabled and I can proceed with saving. You can also push a list of operations as well through CADLINK by opening the side form fields and selecting any of the assemblies in CADLINK, you can add sequences and assign work centers. Once you've reviewed the BOM routes and which components are ECC controlled, you can press a save button and push the BOM into SysPro. And then in SysPro, you can see the bomb updated with new components. Estimation works in a similar way. In the toolbar, when you click Estimation, it'll first request you enter a non-stock code to name the top level. After checking that it's not an existing stock code in SysPro, Catlink will compare the build materials and display the results like before. Once you click Save, Catlink will create the parts and the bombs in the CISPRO estimate. Once Catlink is done completing the estimate, you can go into CISPRO and check it here. Two key features to highlight. Catlink includes a custom logic module allowing users to create their own custom code and further automate Catlink to save more time. Catlink also includes a field mapping screen to allow users to add fields from the inventory master, structures, quote, non-stock and quote, structure tables. And this allows users the full capability to write to any of those fields in Catlink. Thanks for watching.